Yes. It's still. But you can't be any geek off the street. You gotta be handy with the steel if you know what I mean. Keep it real. Keep it real. Keeping it real. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Steven and this is Steel Keeping It Real. So you know what today is. What we're gonna do right here is go back. Way back. Back into time. That's right, it is throw back. Thursday. And on this day, I like to dig deep into the crates, go back to the days of yesteryear, and play you some classic hits. It also happens to be the 4th of July. And I have been on a mission to try to keep or try to keep myself from hearing a particular song today or this week. And I have been very I mean I have accomplished that feat so far. They ain't over yet. And I've been trying to get keep the song away from me. Uh, God bless the USA. I hate that song, and it's not has it has nothing to do with Lee Greenwood, or it has nothing to do with me not being patriotic because I am. I am wearing my red, white, and blue today, and um, you know I'm a military brat, so you know I've been to many air shows or whatever. Said the Pledge of Allegiance, had to do all of those things. The right doesn't corner the market on patriotism. Get em. They just happen to put it in your face a lot more, and they ride upon that because they they have gotten to the point where it makes it feel like being patriotic means you're on their side. And no, it doesn't necessarily mean that. If you're an American uh, and you love your country and, and, and you love the people that are here, you could be patriotic. You just don't have to, you know. Message. I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm saying, but I've been trying to get that song, uh, uh, you know, away from me, and yet it's been living in my head rent free all day long. I can't get it in my head. So I don't know what to do other than play another song that is representative of patriotism and America and the 4th of July, and it has to do with R&B. And that song is America the Beautiful. Say what? And the version I will be playing will be Ray Charles's version. Now, this song, you know, goes way, way back. And we're talking about like the late 1800s. And the weird thing about it is like the music for this song was written in 1883. But the lyrics weren't even conceived until 1895 and no one decided to put the two together and publish it until 1910. Get the fuck out of here! And it wasn't until 1976 when America was celebrating its bicentennial that Ray Charles came out and did a version that went to like number 98 on the hot R&B charts and the same year Charlie Rich released the version and it went to number 22 on the hot country chart so 1976 was a great year for this song and people had charted with this song you know later on there's somebody else i can't remember his name but they said there was a whole bunch of all-stars that included like toby keith and keith urban and, and some other people that released a version of it in july of 2001 and it hit the charts at like number 50 something. And then because of what else happened later on in 2001, a couple of months later, we will never forget that. The song re-entered the charts, but it isn't a traditional, you know, pop song or a song that would be on the charts, but it is a song nonetheless that makes you think about your patriotism, your this country, this holiday, or uh, not necessarily even this holiday, because until Ray Charles did it, and after Ray Charles did it, it was basically things that was played at, at you know on New Year's or 
you know, before a sporting event or whatever, and now it is almost synonymous with God bless the USA when it comes to songs about America that people do know. Now, if you like videos like this and others on the channel, please don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification button, because I'm doing at least five videos this week, one a day, and if I can do more, I'll do more. So, without any further ado, here is Ray Charles and America the Beautiful. I want what they want, and every other guy who came over here has spilt his guts and gave everything he had once for our country to love us as much as we love it. That's what I want. In liberating strife Who more than self Their country loved And mercy more than life America, sweet America, make God the gold refiner, oh yeah, till all success be nobleness. When I was in school, we used to sing it something like this. Listen to me, please. Oh, beautiful, far spacious skies, far amber waves of grain. Far purple mountains and majesty
got to let it play out with the applause for Ray Charles because he deserves his roses back then, as he still does now. Rest in peace, uh, Ray. But it does give that song, even though, because the song was originally written as a poem, and then when it was put together, it was actually kind of like a hymnal. And he does give it that gospel feel uh, to the song, and it lets you sway back and forth. And, you know, it's, it's just Ray Charles. Ray Charles did a lot of covers of certain songs that really, you know, weren't that big, but he made it palatable for African Americans for them to listen to certain songs, and they're like, oh, okay, 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 because I can tell you that, you know, hearing, uh, you know, America the Beautiful wasn't really anything big before Ray Charles did it, or 1976, when it was our bicentennial, when, you know, it actually really, really meant a lot uh, at that point, and, you know, let me see, that's 1976, so we won't have a, a tricentennial until 2076. I won't be alive for that time, but I was alive during the bicentennial, and I do know know that it meant a lot to people at this time. And, you know, America is, is, is kind of really weird about their patriotism. I'm always patriotic. I'm always loving my country. And, you know, it, it was after, you know, 2001 where I, I drove around with my ex and we noticed how there were people who um, were, may not have been born in this country, but, you know, were here legally at that time that were scared to death for their lives and they were putting up American flags on their establishment to let people know like look we're cool we love America and I felt that to be very very sad because it, at that particular point, you know, people were using the flag to let other people know, like, look, I'm with you guys. I'm not, you know, with them. I'm with you guys. Please don't burn down at my establishment. Please don't beat me up. Please don't do these things. And, you know, it, it just seemed wrong. Well, it, it not seemed wrong. It was wrong at the time. So I love my country, plain and simple. And, you know, you should love this country. You could be as cynical and be as young and say, like, you know, this country's crooked and, da -da 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 and elections or whatever. You could say all that. But when you live a certain time frame, you realize that that's just the way things are. Or, you know, and you're like, but Stephen, you're like giving up. No, I haven't given up. I just know that things will change. Things always change. You know, you get older, we get another president, you know, every four years, and if you're good, every eight years we get a president. It's just the way things are. Uh, you just have to adapt, and that's what America is. You know, you might come from another country to the United States, but you have to adapt to this way of life. And it's not too bad from sea to shining sea you can have whatever you want whatever style that you want to live in whatever it is here within the united states and you, you just gotta make it work you know what i mean so if you are still here i thank you very much for staying tuned i really do appreciate it first and foremost i want you guys to like the videos as much as i like making them for you after that, I want you guys, I hope you guys are having a great 4th of July. And if you want to help me out with the channel, please like, subscribe, share, and comment.